far, you know, the, the biggest benefit, of course, is, is the revenues that are coming in. You know, and I see that as an area that we do need to pursue to, to you know, try to make sure that we understand, you know, the, the incoming tax revenues. And, and I agree with that. I, I think we need to know it. We need to know how we can distribute it, you know, what it's going to be based on. The, uh, we also need to find out if there are other ways to still be able to collect a revenue similar to tax, you know, like other states have done, that the pilot program, because that could help, you know, dispel concerns of what would happen with the, you know, state of uh, taxation in Michigan if we had a, a standalone type of agreement like that. But that's one of the things that would need to be pursued to find out if there is an opportunity. Payment in lieu of taxes. I, it's, oh, it's an act. Anyhow, you know, I, I believe that's as I was kind of assuming based on. Or not, I don't know, and I don't know what that amount would end up being, but it could make a substantial difference. Absolutely. Yeah, because they're going to be taxed on that. I mean, you're going to get if you have a lease, you're going to get taxed, and that goes also back into the community. I can understand that. But then they also have, with the extra money, more than willing to go to Becky's Country Kitchen one more time a week, maybe. <laughs> you know, so. restrictions placed on us uh, as you know our percent the amount that we have is set uh, <coughs> they did not allow us to advertise for investments to get our percent because <coughs> people would think that they were buying stock in those companies and those companies have uh, stock in the, on the New York Stock Exchange our corporate attorney told us that that was the legitimate reason for them not allowing us to advertise so that when this project is up and going, uh, that percent can be filled, but we'll have to do it uh, um, either you have to get on the list, the list is getting quite large, uh, of people who will have the opportunity to invest. And those, obviously we want to control that, so those will be local. We're not going to let, you know, we're not going to let a foreign company, when we work so hard to keep this American-made company, we're not about to turn around and lose that percent to anyone outside or very far from this area. Can, can I ask a question, Larry, to, to that extent? So it's going to be like a NASDAQ, do you know what exchange and everything it'll be traded on? The Great Lakes, Great Lakes Wind will not trade on anything. It'll be a private. Uh, so it'll be privately held, so it's not going to be like a trade no. corporate. Okay. All right. Uh, some of the strengths I can give you. Uh, well, can we hold this for a public comment? I mean, we would want to just. Okay. I'm, just I'm sorry. I'm wanted, sorry. I mean, I'm not the chairman. I'm not trying to overrule it. I mean, I'm just thinking, no, no I don't want to thank you. <laughs> I'm just saying, can we even have a couple public comment right now if you want to be done with it? Well, don't we have no, other. We, there, we, have, other, we yeah. have other things to talk, and then we can go right to there. I mean, well, you don't have to have it at the end. <coughs> so if it gets out of hand, then we got more time. It's just trying to get this list together and then we can go on with our other go to public comment. I mean there's been a lot already this evening. 
So, okay. Yes, sir. I have a positive um, with uh, proper siting. Um, and I'll submit this as a document for, for you. Um, when you have considered uh, licensed mobile radio communications, which are used by first responders, which includes firefighters, law enforcement, and medical emergency responders to provide public safety for the residents of Walker Township and the surrounding environments uh, that provide those services to you. When those towers are properly sited, uh, it wouldn't have any interference with providing public safety through uh, first responders. So I'll submit this to the proper siting of the communication towers or the wind turbines. To license mobile, any licensed license. mobile radio by the FCC for uh, law enforcement, uh, firefighters, the people that would be protecting the residents and of Rico. Or the, excuse me, it was over there Thursday night. The ball gets out, so I'm a little tired. Okay, thank you. guys, because I haven't been to any of the meetings hardly, um, I've heard something like this, but say this country goes in total chaos, power's gone, when the wind, lock on windmills, they're out there spinning, feeding whatever they try to feed, you know, everybody down the line. I think, <laughs> this is my opinion, and this would where it would be a positive, if you have each township or whatever, boom. Everybody's cut off, leading out of the township or whatever, because we have to deal with them, work with them, go through all this here. If, if, if the wind's spinning, everybody in the uh, township gets power first. I, you know, I don't. I mean, if I had a way to do that, that's what I'd do. Well, I'd like say, that, okay, everybody else. About a substation, shut off. substations here that would power the county in the case of a national disaster that would so that would get us because we have the power here first and it would get to us. Is what you're saying? It would go to our community first. Is that what you're saying? The Ogden community, not necessarily the whole county. Right. Because I don't know how much juice is going to come out of the system that they're talking about. Right. But I think you know, you guys are the ones that got to deal with it if it ever goes in. And Palmyra and Rigo, whatever. The, I mean, that was just thought. That's how I might have it set up. It was, if I was at the switch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, on a positive side, I think based on Ogden Township, that this uh, wind project is really one of the very few industries that Ogden Township can entertain to support our, our uh, tax base because we don't have any water here to entertain any other industries. We'll wrap that up. The, uh, you know, as, as more come up, we are, we are receptive for any other impacts, you know, either, you know, the benefits or if there's other concerns. You know, we'll continue, we'll continue to, uh, to, you know, review our list and, and if there's new ones that come up, we will entertain them. But, I mean, we needed a starting point. I think we've got a good starting point and now we can, we can move forward. The, uh, you know, part of our, our next step really is to start the, the process of gathering information. You know, we, we had to have a place to start, so our list gives us that place to start. As we're going forward, we need to do it systematically. And it's our intention is that we are going to create communications, correspondence to stakeholders. Stakeholders could be the wind developers, stakeholders could be companies whose signals come through our, our community. Stakeholders could be other utility companies. Stakeholders could be the residents. But what we need to do now is we need to start the, the process of gathering information coming back from the stakeholders to help us to be able to understand you know, what impacts they might have on them, 
understand from the wind developers, you know, how they're positioning, you know, within our community, and that's really the step that we're going to do. Um, going along with that, I, I believe that we need to have a, a, a systematic method of, of tracking the information out and the information in so that it's a, it's a very good tracking system of all the, all the correspondence. And, and I guess what I'm thinking, and, and we can open it for discussion, but my thought is this, that we create a, a, some type of a document folder that would be related to each of the impacts that we have. Then we would, within that, we would also have a, a correspondence log. We would log out all letters that we're sending out to stakeholders. That log would include the, the name of the stakeholder, the person who's sending the communication, the date that it was sent, and then also be able to uh, track in the same log the responses that we get back. Who did we get the response back? Were there more than one document within the package? Um, you know, who physically received it? Even down to a count of how many pages are in there so that we just know that, that we've accounted for everything, all the communications back and forth. So, and, and it's just an administrative task, but I wanted to, you know, get that in front of the, the committee as, as, part of, as part of this kickoff tonight. I've got some, some general copies. This is... I mean, just... I have a question. Yeah, we, we can. Okay. I, mean, I mean, right here on the table, our data, not the public comment, just the comment here, and we'll okay. discuss this a little bit. This is just a sample of a form to, to be used to track the communication. But, yeah, let's... We, my, my issue with that is that we're under a six-month deadline, and it really sounds like that's going to take a lot, a lot of time that, you know, we don't have. I mean, I understand logging in, but... I think actually, if we just have a hard copy of my, my own thoughts, this is my own, if we have a hard copy from the developers or whoever they are that we're getting this information, and then five for us, and that way we can have this book is what they have in there that we go and turn into the township board, but we all get a copy, so if we get six copies, then we can all research it at home, and then if we get responses, then we just get those response, you know, our, our response to their own personal or what we do to the discussion in here. That way, I mean, I mean, I know you like being meticulous and there's nothing wrong, but I mean, my issue with that is that by going down both sets of these lists, I mean, we're doing it an hour or two every couple of weeks here, it's going to take us six years, I'm going to do, do this, and we only have six months. I mean, my own personal, that's my own personal feeling. I mean, I'm not trying to underdog, just trying to bring this up for discussion. So. Well, the um, part, of, part of my thought process was that by, by having a log, which is just an administrative function, we can, on that log, we can assign a cross-reference number, an exhibit number, and then as we summarize into a report fashion, we can reference those exhibit numbers in our, in our document to the township board as a, an easier way of being able to do that. Right, so you're not saying for every person we're going to do this, and then as we go on, what we're going to do is basically we get the